The Furnished Room is a short story written by O. Henry, the pen name of William Sidney Porter, first published in 1904. It's a poignant tale of love, loss, and despair set in the backdrop of a rented furnished room in New York City. The story begins with a description of a shabby, dimly lit, and gloomy furnished room in a boarding house located on a street in New York City. The room is available for rent, but it has a dark history. Many previous occupants have come to the room with dreams and hopes, only to leave in despair or never leave at all. The landlady, Mrs. Purdy, introduces the room to a potential tenant, a young man who appears anxious and heartbroken. He is searching for his lost love, a woman who lived in the city. The young man is desperate to find her and believes that this room, where she once lived, might hold some clue to her whereabouts. Mrs. Purdy, who is used to dealing with tenants who come and go, takes little interest in the young man's emotional turmoil. She informs him that the previous occupant, a young woman, left the room suddenly and mysteriously a week ago, leaving no forwarding address. She also mentions that the room has seen a series of tragedies, with various tenants experiencing heartbreak, despair, and even suicide. The young man is undeterred by the room's dark history and decides to rent it in the hope of finding some trace of his lost love. He is willing to pay extra for the room's furnishings, including a faded carpet, an old engraving of a woman, and a torn and battered sofa. As the young man settles into the room, he becomes increasingly obsessed with finding any clues that might lead him to his lost love. He searches every nook and cranny, inspects the engravings, and even examines the carpet for any hidden messages or signs. His obsession grows, and he spends his days and nights in the room, consumed by memories of his lost love. As time passes, the young man's health deteriorates. He loses weight, becomes increasingly haggard, and his eyes take on a haunted, vacant look. He continues to search for any trace of the woman, but his efforts yield no results. He becomes convinced that she is gone forever and that he will never find her. One evening, as the young man is sitting on the battered sofa in the dimly lit room, he suddenly has a vision. He sees the woman he has been searching for, her face illuminated by a soft, otherworldly light. She appears to be beckoning to him, as if urging him to join her. Overwhelmed by the vision and consumed by grief, the young man takes his own life. His body is discovered by Mrs. Purdy when she comes to collect the rent. She is unfazed by the tragedy and simply arranges for the room to be cleaned and readied for the next tenant. The story ends with a poignant reflection on the room's history and the cycle of hope and despair that it has witnessed over the years. The room, with its faded carpet and old engraving, continues to hold the memories of those who have passed through its doors, each one searching for something elusive and ultimately finding only despair. In the furnished room, O. Henry explores themes of lost love, obsession, and the haunting power of memory. The story paints a vivid and atmospheric portrait of a room that has borne witness to the pain and suffering of its various occupants. It also serves as a commentary on the transient nature of human existence and the futility of searching for something that may be lost forever. O. Henry's writing in this story is characterized by its rich and evocative descriptions, which create a sense of melancholy and foreboding. The room itself becomes a central character, a symbol of the longing and despair that afflict its tenants. In conclusion, The Furnished Room is a haunting and emotionally charged short story that delves into the depths of human despair and the relentless pursuit of lost love. O. Henry's masterful storytelling and atmospheric prose make this story a classic exploration of the human condition and the enduring power of memory.